Hi, second graders, it's Miss Anderson. Today we're going to read the story together. It's called Thanks to the Animals. This story is written by Alan Sockabason and it's illustrated by Rebecca Ray. Let's get started. Winter had arrived. Ju Tum worked for days preparing for the trip north with his family. He took apart their house near the shore and stacked the cedar logs on a big bobsled. Everyone helped. They packed the family sled with his tools and with the meats and fish and vegetables harvested during the summer. When the days were long, it was loaded to the very top with precious food, but Ju Tum made sure there was room for his children to ride in the back. Everyone dressed in warm sealskin clothes for the long trip. It was time to go to their winter home in the deep woods. The horses pulled the sled slowly through the new snow. Zusap was not yet walking, but he was a strong baby born in the spring. He rode on the sled with the other children. As the shadows grew long, the older children slept, but then little Zusap stood up and tumbled off the sled. Oh, how Zusap cried, his voice filled the sky. The animals of the forest were alerted by his crying. First to come were the beaver. They knew they had to keep him warm and dry. So they put their tails together and cradled Zusap. Zusap still cried, so the moose came, then the bear, the caribou, and the deer. The fox and the wolf came too, and all the big animals lay together in a circle. Then the other smaller animals came, the raccoons, porcupines, rabbits, weasels, and mink. The muskrat and otter and the squirrels and mice came too. They gathered and filled in the cracks between the big animals. At sunset, the owl came. Then the raven, crow, jay, duck, and a goose gathered to perch on top. Even a seagull came. Last came the great bald eagle who spread her wings over all the other birds and animals. Zusak stayed warm. When Jutum arrived at his winter home, he knew something was very wrong. Zusap was missing. Jutum quickly lit a fire for his family and got them settled. Then he turned back to the trail to find his son. He traveled through the woods all night and just at sunrise, he came to a big mound of snow. Resting on top was the great bald eagle. I knew you would come back for Zusap, cried the eagle said. Jutum looked down and saw his son safely sleeping in a great pile of warm animals. Jutum thanked the animals one by one. Then he took Zusap in his strong arms and went back to the family. When they arrived that evening, there was feasting and dancing. What a celebration. Thank you for reading with me today. Can't wait to see you soon.